Welcome to CoreCon Today for September 11th, 2019. This is the show where I break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting right now and give you my opinion on them. If you'd like to learn more about these stories, come up with your own opinions. I'll put a link to each story I talk about in the show notes down below and as the first comment. So you can read about them, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Do you disagree with me? I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It will help us a lot because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. Well, let's get started today taking a look at uh, some deals right now. Amazon has their Prime Day pricing back for a limited time on the Fire TV Stick 4K. This is a limited deal and you need the promo code to get it to use at checkout. If you just go to amazon.com and look for this, you won't find the Prime Day pricing. But not only do you get the Fire TV Stick 4K for $24.99, you can also get half off of Philo for two months. You must be qualifying, not everybody will qualify for these deals. I'll put a link to the, um, to the post about this down below, which includes the promo code and the legal descriptions. This is a limited time deal. Do not wait if you wanna get this. Sometimes too, even though they may say this would be good for a while, if supplies run out, they often have like a set number. We will only sell X amount of these devices. When that number's hit, the deal is over. So keep that in mind. But link in the show notes down below to see if you can get the Fire TV Stick 4K, one of the best Fire TVs on the market right now. Highly recommend that over the standard Fire TV Stick. And um, two months of Philo for half off. So check that out down below. Also, before we get into the news, Apple had their big event yesterday. If you haven't seen our special edition of Core Cutting Today yesterday, where I broke down all the news about the Apple TV Plus launching November 1st for $4.99, Apple Arcade available on the Apple TV, iPhones, iPads, and Macs coming uh, next week actually for $4.99 a month. Um, I'll put a link to that video down below and I'd love to hear what you think about these, these new devices or new services I should say and what you think about us doing special editions of the Core Cutting Today show when major news happens. Things like brand new services from Apple coming or a new Roku, a new Fire TV, that kind of stuff happening. What do you think of the special edition where we just say, hey, Roku just announced a new streaming player instead of making you wait until tomorrow, here's what we just learned. So let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Maybe play around with the format on that a little bit, but let us know what you think. All right, let's get into the news of the day. Um, Comcast, is, uh, Comcast, Fox, CBS, and Disney, excuse me, are suing to block a la carte TV. So the state of Maine passed a new law that would take effect next week that would require TV providers, not just Comcast, but all TV providers, to offer a la carte options in the state of Maine, which means that you could go and buy just ESPN and just Fox Sports and build a package you want, but say, Disney Channel, Lifetime, you know, BBC America maybe. I don't want that. I just want sports, I just want news. Or maybe I just want the Hallmark Channel, BBC America, Lifetime, etc. cetera. Um, you could build a channel. You could say, I want nothing but kids programming. So um, this law went into effect that would require that. Now they're being sued to try to block that law from going into effect next week. This, and their argument from Comcast and everybody else is that, uh, Basically, the federal law trumps state law on this issue, that they say, hey, um, the state of Maine does not have the authority to regulate this kind of stuff. That's regulated by the FCC. The truth here is the main concern they have is most channels wouldn't survive in this type of situation. The truth is, well, if you had to sell directly and if people who watch that channel were the ones that would pay for it, many channels wouldn't be successful. I saw a survey once that said, Maybe even CNN and some other ones, big name channels, couldn't survive if they had a charge as a standalone service. Now, I think CNN would make it work, but I could definitely see some of those smaller channels not being successful. They're profitable because the idea that they can sell advertising dollars to the people who watch them, plus even people who don't watch them have to pay a little bit. You're paying 30 cents or 20 cents for some of these small channels that you may not have even heard of because they're part of your bill. So this is um, a huge shakeup that would dramatically change the way 
TV happens. A lot of people are watching this. If this lawsuit is successful, that sets back hopes for a la carte TV. We have to go back to the federal government level to mandate that they offer that. Um, and if the state of Maine is successful, look for other states to jump on board and say, hey, guess what Comcast, guess what all these providers, you have to offer a la carte TV. And this wouldn't be limited to Comcast. It's very likely that this law would affect Sling TV, PlayStation View, Hulu, etc. They would have to offer these channels individually in the state of Maine. So even if you don't live in Maine, keep a close eye on this story. We will be following it very closely, seeing how this plays out going forward. And as we learn more, we'll be posting more over at corecarsnews.com. But let me know. I know everybody here probably would love that. We would all love to have a la carte TV. But do you really believe this would be successful? I think this is gonna be a precedent setting case, which could have dramatic impacts going forward. The first trial is always the most important on this stuff, the first judge, because the appeals courts and the Supreme Court, their ability to overturn things are rather limited. The, the first judge does get the, um, the biggest say in this kind of stuff. So no matter what way this goes, I expect it to be appealed, probably end up in the Supreme Court, but that first ruling is gonna be one of the most important. I'm not a lawyer, I'm sure there's a lawyer here that could explain why that first judge is so important in, this, in a case like this. All right, let's keep going. YouTube TV is testing, I should say rolling out a new guide and autoplay feature um, on Roku, Apple TV, and more. So this new feature will now um, have a brand new guide. It's slightly changed. And now when you launch YouTube TV, it will auto launch into what it considers a top pick for you. You ever launch YouTube TV and see a row at the bottom that says, hey, here's um, some channels you recommend, and it's based off your interests and what you've been watching. Now that top one will auto play. The good news is you can turn that off. It will, um, in the settings, offer you the option to disable it. A YouTube engineer says this is not device specific. It is rolling out to multiple devices out there at this very moment where you'll be able to find this on things like Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, and more. So they said living room devices, which are things like Roku. So very interesting, no timeline for exactly when everybody will get this. Last time they made an update like this, it was a good month or two before all YouTube TV users were able to see it. YouTube, unlike many device, uh, services out there won't say just, hey, all Apple TV owners or all Roku owners are gonna get this new update. They're like, hey, we're gonna send out to a bunch of Roku owners, we're gonna send out to a bunch of Apple TV and a bunch of Android TV owners, see how it goes and slowly roll it out from there. So unfortunately, I can't say, hey, go home and update your Roku because you'll get it or you won't get it. I can't promise that, it may or may not happen. So leave me a comment, let me know if you've seen this, what device have you seen it on? and let me know what you think. Um, autoplay is a touchy issue. Some people absolutely love it, some people absolutely hate it. I do like that YouTube made that an optional. It's on by default, but you can go into the settings and just turn that off. The new guide does look nice. I'll be interested to see how it works when I actually get my hands on it. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think. All right, next up. Apple TV and Disney are putting pressure on HBO Max. So yesterday, Apple announced that the Apple TV Plus um, is going to cost $4.99. Content's kind of limited. I think that's their Achilles heel here. No back catalog with third-party content providers, and the original lineup at launch is kind of small. Now, if you do buy a new Apple product right now, you get a full free year of Apple TV Plus and $4.99 is less than a third of the reported, or it's about a third of the reported price of what HBO Max will be. Uh, Disney Plus is half the price of HBO Max with a massive amount of content. Plus both these services will launch um, about five or six months before um, HBO Max is rumored to be launching. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens here, but clearly, you know, Apple and Disney are putting pressure on HBO Max to be more. The question is, will people justify $14.99 as is currently reported the price for HBO Max will be? Yes, it may have a massive catalog. Um, AT&T has said they intend to have HBO Max with a absolutely huge catalog of back content from Time Warner, plus HBO and Cinemax and more Time Warner channels, so like Cartoon Network, etc. But are people gonna be willing to pay 
$14.99, more than double Disney Plus, almost triple Apple TV Plus for mostly older content. That'll be interesting. When Netflix is a lot cheaper, Hulu is a ton cheaper and more, you know, I, I'll be interested to see what happens. It was reported that Apple TV Plus was supposed to be $10. Disney has seemed to put pressure on them and now to compete, they said, okay, we're not gonna be $9.99, we're gonna be $4.99. Now, be interested to see how that survives. HBO Max, according to the report, says it was supposed to be $14.99, but AT&T had already planned on incremental price hikes going forward to raise that price. So this is AT&T, we all, if you're a direct TV um, now former customer, you know how that went, now AT&T TV now. So let me know what you think. This is gonna be very interesting to me. Um, Disney Plus and eight, um, Apple TV Plus are putting pressure. I saw a really funny list on Twitter that's been going around from some, it's a TV guy. Um, oh, look at all these services, adds up to 90 bucks. You know, he listed, you know, Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus, HBO, et cetera, all the way through to get 90 bucks. The truth is he had 12 different streaming services on his list. I think it was, it was like 10 or 12, something like that. And the truth is people just don't subscribe to that much. And even at $90 a month, that's lower than the average cable um, bill of $109. The average just TV bill just cable TV is now over $109 a month. So even if you do add in all of these services, you're still paying less than cable and honestly getting a lot more. And let's be honest, HBO Now, that's not included with your basic cable bill at $109 a month. That's still an additional 15. Showtime, again, still an additional. The content on CBS All Access, the content on Disney Plus and Apple TV Plus is not available with cable. So this idea that, oh look, you know, Apple TV, $4.99. I don't think most people are going to subscribe to these services. We had a study that showed that over half of all people who plan to subscribe to Disney Plus intend to drop something else. Rather that be like HBO or Netflix or Hulu, they intended to swap it for something. Our, our studies have shown that four or fewer services are what the average core cutter and American subscribes to. Over 70% of our readers say they subscribe to three or fewer. 90 plus percent said four or fewer. So be careful about all this negativity out there. It just doesn't stand up to the weight of honest um, examination. So let me know what you think of all this. And what do you think of HBO Max? How, what do they have to do to compete? Can they come out at $14.99 and offer back catalog content to Warner Media content and still compete with things like Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu, and now Apple TV Plus. Let me know. All right, last story up of the day. We've been continuing our breakdowns of free streaming services. Just did a great comparison of IMDb TV and the Roku channel. And she shows how um, these are two great services, gives you an idea of what they offer. Highly recommend you check these out. They're 100% free, why not get all of them? And I really do think that they supplement, uh, they do a nice job of supplementing paid services. We talked about how most scorecards pay for three or fewer, with uh, the vast majority paying for four or fewer services. You add in a Pluto, the Roku channel, IMDb TV, Tubi, Crackle, and more, and suddenly you have a really nice catalog of content, both free and paid. So let me know, what's your setup like? Do you do that? Do you supplement your paid services with free ones? I do know some people are like, I, I don't want ads, so I'm gonna get, I won't get any service with ads. Okay, what do you pay for? Let me know. And last story up of the day, Pluto TV has announced a new channel called the Sci-Fi Channel. This includes a ton of sci-fi related content on channel um, 661. Um, so if you're a sci-fi fan, this joins a growing list of sci-fi content on Pluto TV. So check that out, new channel available right now. So let me know what you think of these stories. Leave us a comment. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that thumbs up. It helps us a lot. And check back tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, for our Wednesday core cutting Q&A. We're live every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube. So check that out. I'll be live for about an hour. All right, everybody, have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow with more core cutting today.